meteorologist Mark Molnar as your host for the weather show, Weather Northeastern. Just to let everybody know, I will be coming out with my preliminary, very, very early uh, winter weather outlook that will encompass 2015, 2016. So look for that in the coming weeks here. We're gonna get right into the tropics here. Looking at the tropics itself, we have something off the east coast which could develop, but at this point, wind shear is very high. But it's out here in the Atlantic. We have Tropical Storm Ida, the I named storm. And this storm is churning and basically will continue towards the northwest, but it will slow down in forward speed here. It's pretty much not affecting any land mass, just an interest to shipping and will increase to 60 to 70 mile per hour winds. But as I said, it will not be going anywhere because very weak steering currents at the moment and over into the next week. As for the rest of the tropics, pretty quiet as you can see here on the satellite photo, as I showed you. You can see that interesting area off the East Coast, but there is Ida out there spinning in the open Atlantic. Let's take a look at viewer sent in photos and videos. Let's take a look at Robert Jason Stone from the Franklin, Indiana area. Take a look at these beautiful photos. Now he snapped about 20 of these photos. They all look about the same, but they're really not the same because the clouds are moving and you can see that very low stratus deck and cirro stratus here in the foreground, in the background, very, very low striated cloud structure. So not very good weather here across Indiana. This was back on September 18th at 9 a.m. Robert snapped these beautiful photos across the Franklin, Indiana area. Thank you, Robert, for sending these beautiful striated clouds in. Take a look at Lucas D from Linden, Texas, continuing with that really nice video he sent in. Unfortunately, I cannot include the sound because it includes a song, a very good song at that. But nevertheless, Look at the cloud structures across Linden, Texas. Continuing with this video, showing off some very beautiful cloud structures from this summer. So thank you, Lucas. I'm enjoying this video and I thank you for sending it in. And I will continue to show little snippets from it over the next several days. Let's take a look at the precipitation totals across the country here in the Pacific Northwest. We got that trough, another one to two inches expected. But look at this down here, tropical moisture moving into the desert southwest, Southern California, Arizona, Southern Nevada, two to four inches likely. Here in Florida, we're continuing with that tropical moisture. And here in the Midwest, some fronts, a series of fronts will drop along this upper part of the ridge. But as you can see here in the Northeast, that drought continuing to hold tough. Yes, we have been dry across the Northeast and that will continue. Take a look at the trough here out West that ejects a ridge that will push back East. Look at that area of high pressure, keeping the weather very dry. Let's take a look at the surface map, starting off with your Tuesday. Looking very nice across the Northeast, picture perfect. Look at these temperatures. Getting into the lower to mid 70s pretty much everywhere, even some upper 70s in the lower Susquehanna Valley of upstate or uh, lower state Pennsylvania here, PA Turnpike on southward. Binghamton looking into the low 70s. Look at the, the humidity and the sunshine, very low humidity and very abundant sunshine. So you can't ask for better September weather heading on into your Wednesday. Continuing, we have this front dropping southward, but Nevertheless, it doesn't look like it will contain very much in the way of rainfall. So that's the good news. Maybe a stray shower possible. But other than that, look at temperatures looking very nice across the region. And then continuing on into your Thursday, or yeah, your Thursday, look at this. Not bad at all for late September. It could be a lot worse. We're adding into fall here. Looking very beautiful across the Northeast. Temperatures into the 70s, some areas near 80 in the southern sections here. And then your Freer Friday, just in time, just the weekend knocking on your door. Look at this. Still looking very beautiful, high pressure in control of the Northeast. In 10 seconds, I'll have a five day outlook for my hometown viewers in the Binghamton to Scranton's upstate New York, Susquehanna region of upstate New York and Northeast Pennsylvania. In the meantime, don't forget to like me on Facebook and MediaMark, subscribe to me on YouTube and MediaMark.com, Twitter, WX Northeastern and Google Plus and MediaMark. Here's your five days, stretching from your Tuesday through your Friday. Look at this, not bad every day. Look at this, mostly sunny, lows, good sleeping weather, mid to upper 40s, near 50, and highs approaching the low to mid 70s and maybe some upper 70s towards the end of the forecast period, towards the end of the week. That's gonna do it for this edition of Weather Northeastern.